Hey, my name is Jamie Aaron, and today I'm going to show you an Eric Gales inspired lick. Eric Gales is one of my favorite players. I've loved his music ever since I was in the eighth grade in the early 2000s. So I'm going to show you this little inspired lick that involves both chords and some single note lines, some Eric Johnson inspired stuff. So we're going to start with this cool F69 chord. You have F and C, like a power chord, and then an open D and an open G. He loves these kind of open string voicings that are really moody sounding, really beautiful. F, C, open D, open G. And then we're going to just take this shape and move it up to be a G chord at the third fret. So just play a G power chord with that open D and open G. So now those open strings just double the notes that you're fretting. Gonna slide into an E, then a G, then an A, then to D, then to C, A, to the E, then A, and then after we play this A, we're gonna just play that A again, but instead of using the third finger, you're gonna slide with your first finger into that A at the seventh fret, fourth string and then give it some really good vibrato. This is a really signature Eric Gales thing. And then we're gonna go G, E, D, C. So right down the pentatonic scale. So here's what we have so far. Then we're gonna start this whole lick again. There's that F6, 9 to the G chord. But this time we're gonna play an A flat diminished. A flat, F, B natural, and D. Which leads to an A minor 7 chord. That A flat diminished is a passing chord to this A minor 7. Sounds really nice. But we're gonna put an Eric Johnson kind of lick at the end. Something that Eric Gales does a lot. He's very inspired by Eric Johnson. So it's gonna sound like this. So this lick is gonna start, it's all A minor pentatonic, and we're gonna do groupings of five and then groupings of six. So we're gonna start with a grouping of five. One, two, three, four, five. And it's gonna start on an E. E, G, A, C, D. Right up the pentatonic scale. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna drop back to A and do a grouping of six, right up the pentatonic scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna start on E. We're gonna drop down to E, seventh fret, fifth string and do a grouping of five again. And this is the same grouping of five that we did before, but up an octave. One, two, three, four, five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna drop down to A. So these licks, the grouping of five start on E, the groupings of six start on A. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the last one is just right up the pentatonic scale, starting on A. One, two, three, four, five, six. A, C, D, E, G, A. So this last little finishing lick goes like this, slowly. So you may be asking, is this lick in 11? Because it's a grouping of six and a grouping of five. But actually what's going on here is players like Eric Johnson, Joe Bonamassa, Eric Gales, play these kind of lines and superimpose them over four, four time. So it gives it this really jagged, interesting sound. It doesn't sound as mechanical if you were just playing in groupings of four or eight. So 
So if we combine that with our lick, and this is something that Eric Gales would play as sort of an intro to a tune. So you can really extract a lot from this. I'm playing kind of rubato and out of time. So you can grab these cool chord voicings. You can grab this cool little blues lick. And you can grab this cool Eric Johnson inspired line. Put them all together. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Please click subscribe, like, and comment below. I put out new videos every week. All sorts of guitar stuff, gear demos, lessons, blues, jazz, funk, R&B, rock. You don't want to miss them. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.